Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce Style and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can use Deezers with your WooCommerce and how you can integrate it, also how you can import AliExpress products, all of that I'm going to show you uh, step by step. Now if you're new here and if you want to learn how you can make more money with uh, dropshipping, new tools, uh, increasing conversion rate, you can find a link down below in the description for my newsletter that I'm writing every single week. And now let's enter uh, the pricing and let's go for WooCommerce. We're going to use a site called Deezers and here you're going to have options for free and standard. Now free account is really great if you're going to have like one product, let's say, or two products and you don't need much, but even the free account is going to be uh, sufficient many times that you don't have to go with a standard. You can, no credit card required, completely up to you and you see the store limit is free here. So here I'm going to start now with the basic free tool and now I'm going to enter email. I will copy the email and then I'm going to add a password. So I'm going to create an account and I already got registered my uh, my WordPress WooCommerce. Probably you have two. So right now I'm going to show you how you can do it. Now what you're going to do is to link a WooCommerce store here. And let's just wait here. Okay, and this is the domain. So we will go add store. And we're going to authorize it. So we have to install the extension. Okay, or it can be accessed normally, or website is WordPress service. And now we added extension. Okay, so we have to go here. Make sure, make sure, please go to WordPress settings, permalinks. Okay, so we will go into settings, permalinks, post name is selected. Yes, 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 save changes. So that's the next thing that we're gonna do. Okay, add store. And we have it right here, approve. And now we just have to connect it. The connection just goes right now. And here we are, link to AliExpress. So now we just have to click here on the icon. And let's just wait until it loads. And now you have to choose a plan. So I'm going to start with a free one and you can always change it. My cat just came in. And this is my cat. It's called the Nayapi. So when you have it, and these are will automatically synchronize the orders and order products. Got it. So how it works and what do you have to do? Now, when I go here and we can also look on a plugins and add new, if we can find the plugin uh, right here in users. Now it's here, so we're just gonna use the app. So right here, we're gonna find a supplier first. Here, you have to choose and find a relatively good supplier so what you have to do first is let's open it. And now my recommendation is always try to find supplier with 95% and higher positive feedback. So we're going to find here the daily sell rentings and you're going to have it 4.7, 4.7, 4.6. I would just search for something much higher, but still good. Then you want to focus on a product which got about 4.7, 4.8 and higher reviews. And then uh, more than 100 reviews 
and more than let's say 500 sold. So I wouldn't possibly choose this product. I would go for a different one. And I would like, let's say, and this one here. Yep. And she's going to sleep right now. So I'm going to put her on bed. And now when you have it, let's, for example, choose this store here. And we're going to sell this product. So what we're going to do, we're going to click here, import product. When you're going to import list, uh, right now, you're going to be here in an import list where you're going to choose the product that we want to push to WooCommerce. So right now, we just add it from the Deezers and we're going to add it to our WooCommerce store. But right before we're going to do that, click here, edit product. And here you have to change the product name. My recommendation is always change name to a something else like phone screen cleaner without liquid. Okay, like this. So now when we have it, I'm going to search for category tags if I want to have them. And then we're going to find variations here. So here you're going to have a ships from like where it's actually shipping from. And let's say you're going to have these options here. Then you're going to have the cost. And then you're going to have the sale price and regular price. So we can have sale price, let's say five and here five two, five two here. So you can choose that. Now, when you're going to click, you can click save, but we can go also to the description. I would definitely recommend like figuring out a new description with chat open eye chat gbt to figure out the best description that you can have and when you're going to have it you're going to be in shipping info where you can choose let's say united states and see this product cannot ship to this country okay yeah i think you need to have set up uh the deezers with uh like have your own shipping there in woocommerce that's the way how it's going to be done, I think. Yeah, we will see. I will show you how we can do it. Now, when you're going to also find the images, my recommendation is to definitely get some optimizer for your WooCommerce. It's going to optimize the images so they are in um, lower megabytes and also find a way how we can edit the names of the names of the images, right? So that's something that you want to change. When you're going to have it, then you're going to click save. And let's say regular price is going to be like this. Regular price five, two, five, two, and click save. Okay, now we have it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click here and push to WooCommerce. What will happen? We can have like pricing rule here, push to WooCommerce. And it's going to uh, like sent to WooCommerce and then you're going to find it in your products. So right now it's happening and we have to wait for a while. When you're going to push it to WooCommerce, you're going to find the product right here. And you see right here and you can import more WooCommerce products if you want to. And now what we can do is to open in WooCommerce. And you're going to have also check details here. So right now we have the product with description and everything on our WooCommerce store that we can preview on the top right. And voila, you see right here, ships from United Kingdom like this or like this one. And what we can do is to add to cart. Then I can view cart. And we have the card right here and I would go to proceed to checkout. And we would have everything here. Now, when I'm going to create an order, so let's say that I'm going to come products, you can have add new payments. You can have like uh, integrated with Visa, MasterCard, what is really important is that when you're going to have, uh, I'm going to show you right now something orders. 
and I'm going to add an order and let's say it's processing and you can let's say add an item here and you would add a product right here with everything uh, and you would create an order how you can fulfill it that's like another question to fulfill the order for you you're gonna have it right here in open orders and when you're gonna have order how it works is that a person is going to pay you money for an order on your WooCommerce store and then you're gonna have it right here waiting order and you have to go and pay it for mm, in AliExpress by yourself. So a person pays you money on WooCommerce for a dropship product. You're gonna get the money and you want to go to AliExpress and then buy the product on all the customer details you, that you get automatically transferred from Deezers. Deezer. And that's um, how it's done. So if you can have any questions, guys, let me down in the comments. But that's pretty much it, how we can uh, dropship the products from Deezers to WooCommerce. And I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, yeah and goodbye.